Maybe. Hey, Super Mario World! Hey. Keith's girlfriend Megan here, I mean is here, and she's gonna sit here and watch us record the whole thing. Because my car's broken. It's not gonna be awkward at all. I cheated and looked online for where the blue switch is, and it's out of a hidden exit in this level. Oh, is this? Are we still trying to figure out? Because you fucked up and went to the wrong path. No, no, we're out of the forest. We're out of the. Okay. But I have to go back. Yeah. And get the blue switch. I want to. I want to. What's up? It's not. It's not that. It's weird having Megan here. It's just that I'm very self-conscious about everything that I'm saying. Uh huh. All the time. Yep. And so normally it's fine. Those explode, right? What is that? What do those do? They let me swim around. Okay, I they, they exploded. Do, they go ar- They go away. Okay. Eventually. Um, because normally Kyla, it's, it's just, just you like here. exploding, but there's no explosion part of the. Yeah, explosion. yeah, yeah. So it's like away. a really weak-willed explosion. Mm-hmm. It's just a coin. What, it, Kyle? We still don't know what the Yoshi coins do, right? <sighs> I no. Okay. Um, I did I, can, it, I did at some point, but I don't anymore. Yeah, it's if you collect, it might be like if you collect six, you get a one up or something. I don't know. Okay, it's not something terribly complicated. It's just not super obvious. Basically, when I tell a joke, I can I can always count on Kyle to not be on my side with it, uh-huh. so I don't have to be self conscious because I know that I'm gonna be made fun of. But now you're worried that she's not going to be on your side. Why right. would your girlfriend not be on your side, Keith? Is there something that you guys want to talk about? No, no, no. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just. Why don't you guys open up? Okay, listen. No, it's just like it's just uncomfortable for me because mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know if I'm a good person, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know about, I don't even know what I I'm could saying. tell you if you're a good person. Am I a good person? No. Oh damn it, Megan. Am I a good person? God damn it. Oh, what's the great switch? I Do forget. it. I don't remember what it it's It turns for. all the things oh, I think into things. I think it's a pow. Boom. Like great coin. How do you get up there and get the, all those coins? Uh, uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. All right, well. I oh, tried, do that. Get those ones. That's what's important. No, no, get those ones. I don't care. You cared a second ago about the ones that you couldn't get. I don't care that much. You know what, I Kyle? Get a blue it's switch. true what they say that the grass is always greener. What does that mean? The grass is always greener. <sighs> Whatever amount of green that the grass Megan, is, it's always greener than that. So, um, I was good person. I was practicing these levels that we're gonna have to do. Com- I'm gonna have to do coming up here. And uh, they're really tough. Yeah. So I think um, every single time... I'm going to do what I did the first time I played through the game, which was every time I beat one, I'm going to go back and beat the first ghost house over again. So, okay. it gives me a, <laughs> so it gives me a chance to save. What are the, I like these little uh, dinosaur men. They're motherfuckers. They're motherfuckers? They spit fire. They're, no, they're little babies. They they're, spit hot fire. They're darling little babies. Like this. Look right. at their little hop. They're vicious killers. You're an you're you just hate animals. Boom. That's a nice cannon. I like how you can turn the mama sore into the baby sore. Yeah, and then squash your face. Arr! Those guys are back in Super Mario 3D World. I heard did oh, they shoot. You know what? Su- I I have Super Mario 3D World by the way. Yeah, I heard. I, I don't like it that much. Uh, well, then you're an idiot. Because everybody loves it, and they they can't all be wrong and he'd be right. They have, now in this one, in that mm-hmm. one, they have regular Goombas that look like Goombas. And but then they, they also, also have, have the squashed Goombas? Yeah, they have the Super Mario World Goombas that, like, you... The piece of shit Goombas that we hate? Yeah, like, you, you step on them, and then they just fall over, and then you have to kick them. Is there... Do, are they uh, visually distinguishable? Yes. Or is it a surprise? Yeah, they have round heads. Well, I wasn't sure if they went that far with it. You know what I do like about those Goombas better? What do you... Ah, oh, no, that's not where I wanted to be at all. This is the worst. They give you, like, a free life, and then your punishment is you have to jump on these Yoshi dolphins and not get killed by these puffer fish things. And I'm owning it. You are owning it. Hey, you know what? Last uh, time... Ah, what? Last time they had something like that, you said that it was going to be really hard, and then you got it in one oh. try. I think that... I think, Kyle, I think that just sometimes you have 
uh, you um, you maybe get pe- people's criticism of you being <laughs> shitty at video games and not worth anything and just like a general like piece of shit. You kind of get it into your head and you uh, psych yourself out. You're saying that, that that they're not right at all. I'm saying that you psych yourself out. <laughs> oh, I hate this ghost house. God, this is the worst. Can you name a ghost house that you do like? The first one, because it's easy. <laughs> But you still you still don't like it. I still no, I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. No one's like there's this Woo! listen, there's this great house filled with Spooky. ghosts that kill you. What's that fire rod? It's just a fire that hurts me. And it's on a fishing pole. God. Get Damn that it. little box. Yeah. You got this. Uh go away. Here's here's the thing about the ghost houses, though, is that they're total bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Is that no, all? The- oh, no, no, okay. it's not. It's like half of it. Oh, well, these guys are kind of cool, but they still suck. Oh, they're they're boo blocks. It's like red light, green light, with but with your life. Well, with your one up. And I don't like these boos because they don't go away when I look at them. It's like cheating. Well, because you don't know where they are. Are they this one? Are they that one? You don't know what's up. I think I need to take these blocks with me. Or something to, like, help me get up this no. other place. Nope. You have to get the block booze to freeze where you want them to go. That's what, I'm, that's what I was saying. We just said the same thing. Oh, I thought you were saying the blocks that you were standing on, you had to somehow pick them up. And I was like, that's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. You idiot. This but idiot, why does he think he needs to pick up blocks when there's an enemy that is a block that follows him everywhere? Yeah. Could he be any stupider? You could. Uh. That's why I don't like this ghost house. No one likes this. I mean, I've heard I've heard a lot of criticism for anything we've ever done. Uh huh. Um, I've never heard. That's not true. There's always one guy. Basically, who didn't like that Yoshi video? You seen that Yoshi video? That Yoshi, Yoshi video has really 81 thumbs up. That's a lot. I mean, it doesn't have any more views. It doesn't have had. that many more views, which makes that hurt even kind of more because it means that there's tons of people watching our videos already that deliberately don't give thumbs up because yeah. they don't think the episode what's up? is that good. What? <laughs> what's up with that? Give thumbs up to shit. Guys, thumbs us up. We're struggling it artists. It doesn't give us anything we or artists? help us in any way, but we just like it. Yeah. You know what? Oh, you know what else people haven't done? Uh, done. People haven't um, reviewed the Run Button podcast on iTunes. Well, that's because it was just added to iTunes like two weeks ago. And we also haven't done a podcast. Wait, Megan just raised her hand or something? Yeah, she, 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 she reviewed you, it. Oh, you reviewed it. Okay, yeah. sorry. I thought that was like she was saying that she put it on iTunes, and I was going to be like, Keith, did you just take credit for your girlfriend putting our podcast on iTunes? No, no. She tried to stop me. Okay, carry on. I was like, I was thinking that I was going to do it, and she was like, don't do it, that's dumb. That does seem like a thing that she would do. She's very (laughs) negative. Um, What was I even talking about? Cruising. Oh, yeah. People should go and, and, you know, subscribe to it and review it. That's that's literally a helpful thing that you can do. It's it's free for you. Cheap for them. It is actually free. C-O-L-E-C-T. You don't even... You could go to iTunes and do it. You could just go to iTunes and open up the thing that says subscribe to a podcast and put in runbutton.feedmurder.com yeah if you wanted to if you wanted to it's you could always have done that yeah so this uh a lot of you didn't and that's (laughs) fine this episode is kind of weird episode this level is kind of weird yeah because um there's a speaker box at the beginning that says where you end up depends on the amount of time remaining and the coins that you have when you go through the pipes okay so like here i get to this thing with dinosaurs but like sometimes It's a totally different level part. Yoshi gets spooked so easily. He got hurt. 
He, but then he just Keith, like free. You Keith. get hurt all the time, and then you don't no, go running Keith, away. Yoshi gets spooked when he gets hurt. Mario dies when he gets hurt. Like, give him some credit. I guess, but just have have a little like he doesn't die. Why is he getting so spooked? You know. <laughs> right. He is kind of invincible. He's a little bit invincible. Yeah. Which never comes up again. I don't know. Can we think of a game where Yoshi dies? Um, not in Yoshi's Mario. Island. Wario, he's in he's invincible in his own game, Yoshi's Island. Shit. Okay. Um, Yoshi is an unkillable juggernaut. <laughs> uh, that should be in like the Did You Know? Was that Wario is an unkillable juggernaut? No, that Yoshi is. Oh, did I say Wario? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about Wario to make a Wario joke, but then I didn't. What is with this well-oiled dinosaur machine just coming at you? Mm. What's up? I think me and Yoshi right now are well-oiled. Uh, oil, you're oiled dinosaur up. Machine. You guys are oiled up. Mario is a greasy Italian. You, Yoshi, Catherine, oiled up. I was just gonna. I was like, Catherine Birdo. What? Yeah, Birdo. Nice callback. Thank you. Apparent for people just joining us and Megan <laughs> <laughs> apparently uh, uh, Birdo's Japanese name or an original Japanese name was Catherine which is really weird. Bur Birdo is sort of like an unconfirmed kind of they go back and forth on it uh, uh, transsexual transsexual it's really weird. which just like just come out and say it right I like, don't be like, I think mm, Yoshi's, <laughs> Yoshi's his boyfriend, and also her boyfriend, and also her name is Catherine, and his name is Birdo. I think the, the official canon now is that Birdo is a girl, and she and Yoshi are dinosaur lovers. Okay. But <laughs> the, that's just the official word, is that she is a girl, but the official word used to be was that she was a boy that wanted to be a girl. Yeah, they wanted that she wanted he wanted to be called Catherine and, so and they wouldn't call him Catherine and now now he is officially a so, she. So people run with that and go like, "Oh my god, Nintendo like canonized Birdo sex change." Like, no, they didn't. They just said Birdo was a girl. Yeah. They... But definitely, I think that they're just they're just not coming out and saying like, "Yes, definitely transsexual." Which would be, which would be much better. I don't. Whoa! Why didn't you just climb up the? the... I. That really surprised me, because um, I just recently learned that you can fly as Yoshi, and I always forget. Like you can fly when you're on Yoshi. I didn't know that before. Oh. So the cape affects anything that you touch. Right. Okay. This is the bullshit thing. When you go through the normal exit, it just gives you this fat loop. It's a fat loop. It's a three mountain wide loop. That's fat. That's fat. No, no, I meant with a pH. Oh. It's fat, like, that's fat. Like, when uh, when you make a video in uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch make my video on, like, Sega Saturn, let's say, or Sega CD, <laughs> and then... Wait, it was on Sega Saturn and Sega CD? It was probably just Sega CD. Okay. <laughs> and then you make a really good one, and then he's like, yo, that video was f f f f f f fat And oh, then, man. like, there are kids that are happy about that or something. <laughs> I would really love to get a copy of that game so we could record it, but they're like really expensive. <laughs> are they? Are they prohibitively so, yeah. expensive? They're not. They're more money than I would be willing to pay to make a silly video of it. Yeah. How much? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Maybe it's super affordable. Ah. What would? What is the maximum amount of money that you would pay without <sighs> guilt? Without guilt. Without guilt. That's hard to answer. Because you buy any bullshit a lot of and my, feel bad about it. A lot it. of my retro video game purchases involve guilt. Yeah. Um, I don't like less than twenty dollars. I would say without guilt. Okay. I did. Lo I I lost Yoshi though. That's a retro game. Yeah, game Yoshi fell now. and died. So fuck that juggernaut shit. Yoshi falls down. That's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't see him die. It's like an off-camera death. Yeah. So they leave it open for his return. All right, let's uh 
He's sort of like the oh, Gandalf figure. Oh, if I figure. had Yoshi, he could like eat this uh, blue turtle guy and then just fly. Or you have the cape, so you could just fly. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Boom. What's up? What's up? Huh? What, what do I think I'm <sighs> What's doing? Up? I'm just beating the level. Yeah. You asshole. You're such a dick. <laughs> so. Mario, start! So what's, what's up, Kyle? You want to talk about Super Mario 3D World? No, I want to talk about Andy Short. Oh, okay. I, w I just want to say, okay, so I told Kyle half of what happened. Um, just half? Just half. Huh. Uh, I met... I was at there on my way home from work. There's a place in Brookline, Massachusetts called Shake Shack, and they sell mediocre shakes and really, really good burgers. And uh, that's weird. Yeah, Megan and I went there. Oh, We've been there a Shack. few times, and we went there for lunch. And um, uh, there, I was I was wearing my uh, my Geek Week Improv uh, Improv Boston T-shirt that they gave me when we did uh, a live podcast at Geek Week yep. last year. And uh, we didn't do it last year. No, last year's the year that we did it. We didn't do it this year because they canceled it. Oh, it's still the same year. Yeah, it's still the same year. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, I thought that we had missed it uh, or that uh, the guy that runs oh, it just didn't send it? an email. They did. They postponed it for this year and then never did it. Oh, bummer. Yeah, it was a bummer. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was wearing that and he was like, oh, Improv Boston? And I was like, I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, I have a friend that interned there. And I was like, oh, we did, we do the live Geek Week thing every year. He's like, oh, do you know Andy Short? <laughs> I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, Andy, she's my friend, Andy Short. And I was like, does he flake on you too? <laughs> he was like, uh, yeah, sometimes. And we talked about him for uh, a minute. And then he, he was like, his biggest problem, though, is that he's always sleeping. Yep. And, <laughs> and I said... I said he's sleeping. All I'll find like we'll f he'll say that he's busy, and then we'll just find out that he was taking a nap. He said to me that uh, uh, they hang out on Tuesdays. That's like their hangout day, and he slept through it, and then just never returned his calls. Yeah, he's done that to us too. Yeah, it's like I just want. I just it just brings me a lot of peace of mind to know. I just fucking nailed that level, by the you way. You totally did. Um, because I always it was always distressing to me that he was always flaking on our shit. And I, I was assuming that he was not doing this to other people, but I feel... I wasn't. I wasn't assuming that. Oh, really? I feel really good now knowing that it's not us. In his case, just, it was it was everyone. very clearly, I feel, like, pathological. Yeah. And, like, not something that he could control. Yeah. But we should try and get him on a thing. I'm still. killing it. I'm killing it. I, te I texted him a while ago seeing when he could do something, and he was like... You should uh, just do that. Like, every time we make a day to record, you should just ask him if he can show up. Yeah. Um, but he was like, he was like, oh, I'm free. After two days, he answered me. He was like, oh, I'm free in two weeks. Uh, on Thursday in two weeks. And then I was like, okay. And the next day, he was like, oh, bro, I fucked up. I'm free on Thursday bro, in three weeks. Bro, I donked it. And then I was like, okay, fine. Well, then I'll see you then. And then I have not heard from him in three months. <sighs> uh, I don't know what the hell is going on in this level, by This the way. is a cool level. This it's looks like something from Lemmings. This looks like a level that would be in Lemmings. Oh, man. Look at that down there. That's That sounds like some, that's some scary that? shit. Have you, have you ever played Lemmings, Kyle? No, actually, no. I haven't. I've seen it. That was like my classroom jam for years. Gotcha. Like uh, there was a in third grade, uh, the Mac computer in our classroom had Lemmings on it, and it was basically like the first one to that computer during snack gets to play Lemmings all snack, all snack. And I was I was lucky. I sat in the back because I was a disruption, <laughs> so they would. Wait, they put you in the back because you were disruptive? Yeah, was, it makes no sense. It was, no, I was in the front, and I was too disruptive in the front, so they isolated me in the back. And so I was closest <sighs> to the computer, and I would just... Oh, thank God. Yeah. Wait, not that. Oh, this. Thank God. I got to the end of this level. You weren't thanking God that I was close to the computer? So I, no, I basically... Yeah. I got to... Thank God for that also, I yeah. guess. 
They didn't have Mar- Mario's teaches Mario teaches typing for you. To no, to no Mario. Type? No, they had we had Lemmings to learn how uh, the classic Disney documentary was a lie uh, and how they murdered thousands and thousands of Lemmings. Yeah, that's true. We'll talk. Yeah, guys, open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, if you think that Lemmings commit suicide, if they commit, if you think they commit mass suicide, that is a, a Disney lie. They threw Lemmings off of a cliff. To perpetuate that lie. It's weird. Yeah. Disney's a real piece of shit. Check out this level. This Loved weird. Hitler. Very pro Hitler. This is stuff they don't talk about at the happiest place on earth. And people still go to fucking Disney World, but we can't go to PAX because some guy said something about bringing back dick wolves. Come yeah. on, guys. That's, Give me a break. Listen, I feel weird about it. <laughs> I just see the biggest problem with that is I understand not liking Penny Arcade or at least half of it okay. for their opinions on things. Okay. Uh, a lot of which are bullshit. Okay. Um, and I understand thinking that and then all, still wanting to go to PAX, but the problem is that I feel like the amount of people that are incredibly pro Dick Wolves. And like irritatingly so, and for all the wrong reasons, like Pax is just gonna be m- become more concentrated Who with are that. All these people, you like p- people that are in- way into penny arcade. Ugh. Oh. poor Yoshi. Like ki- like nerds that are still constantly reliving their fear of being bullied by everyone. I. I got lost somewhere. I was too busy focusing on how I'm killing it right now. You're totally killing it. First of all, you're totally killing um, it. And then second of all, I think that a lot of the, the a, a lot of the, the 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 angry nerd stuff comes from people that are still afraid that they're going to get bullied if they're not aggro about stuff all the time. Maybe yeah. I don't. I haven't seen anybody online being like Dick Wolves is the best. Well, when they talked about it last PAX, like there was the whole thing where they were like, "We shouldn't." Where Mike was like, "We shouldn't. Have, we shouldn't have pulled the merchandise from the store." And then people like cheered. Oh, uh, okay. That was. That's more what I'm talking. About. All right. Yeah. The thing is that like, and I'm sure if you checked any story about people saying like, At "Penny Arcade, step your shit up." I bet the comment sections of those oh, was man. like, no, you step your shit down. I I get that. Um, but in a way more intolerant way. I guess we're talking about this we're now. Ta- we're way talking about this. Um, the thing is that... What's the thing? Um, I kind of lost everything that I was saying. It's okay. You um, got these wheels. Yeah, I got it's these okay. saw blades. It's your saw blades, Keith. Um... We'll wait. Sorry. Is For this- one, so I know Mike has a lot of shitty opinions, and yes, uh, Mike from Penny Arcade. Krahulik. Whoa! How you did you just that got kill double? Me? You got double hit. You hit, got hit by the point and by the barb. That's some hot garbage. Yeah, you got pointed at and then barbed. All right, Mike Krahulik. Shitty I either opinions. I need my headphones turned down or for you to be quieter. Okay. I'll. How's that? It's pretty good. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, like Megan the thing made a is, face like I have burrito bread. The thing is, like, I know he's he's said insensitive things and stuff, but, like, he's not, like, this incredibly hateful person. He's just kind of, like, an idiot who yeah, doesn't yeah. really know better. Yeah. And in, not, like, trying to defend him. I'm just saying, like... Yeah, that being, being too stupid to realize you're saying awful shit is not a defense... It, it's just it's just an alternative viewpoint. I'm not I'm not saying like hey guys let's be totally cool with all the things that Mike says because he's dumb. But I'm saying like you don't have to. By the way, I'd also like to know how many of these people that are quote unquote boycotting packs are like people that would not have been able to like go get, anyway get to packs anyways. Yeah, because like, it sold out in like half a second. Um, um I I think that the the problem is like, that like he's even in- like the Dick Wolves thing like. I, like, rolled my eyes so hard when I saw that they, like, went that in that Q&A thing that, like, they, 
yet again like went back on the dick wolves thing like maybe we shouldn't have gotten rid of dick wolves it's like yeah. oh my god well did you know but you, you know so the context d- of why they were talking about it right yes okay the like biggest the regrets thing yeah um but the the thing is like the dick wolves comic strip was never even that controversial to begin no, with. No, that's well that's like, the it's problem. Not that even a that lot of offensive. The, a lot of the people I'll, I'll just I'll just speak for myself. Uh the cuz you told me about the comic the comic. I didn't even know yeah. about it for, and for like a year after it was made, but I I read it and the comic isn't controversial. I think what people have an issue with is how uh how the comment how how the reception of the comment of the comic yeah the comment was taken where they were very defensive about it and then like like instead of saying like oh maybe this is a little bit insensitive instead of doing that they were like fuck it T- yeah. t-shirts in the stores making money off this joke that made people feel bad like i think that's the part that people weren't cool with and they then didn't take it out of the store they did yeah well because robert made them mm. I guess. Yeah, I that's mean, what they were talking about. Robert he, approved the shirt to be in the store to begin with. He's like their manager guy. Yeah. He's their boss. It's not like it, it's not like they're off making rogue t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they yeah. But what what I'm saying is like and I don't know how much cuz uh Jerry is mostly silent through a lot of the stuff that what, Mike says. What what was just uh, held up on your phone? She's just showing me a, a Wikipedia article that I can't read because I'm okay. talking. Um, that I read most of. Uh, um, there's... Oh, yeah, this part's kind of tough, I think. Um, oh, man, look at this guy. That's a that's a big, slow lumber son. Lumber son? Yeah. Uh, anyway, when people said that he was wrong, he gets really defensive about it, and that makes him seem like like an intolerant douchebag yeah if he was like it's one thing to be an idiot and then when someone says like hey bro you're being totally insensitive about this and then he goes like oh you're right he's instead it's like no fuck you i'm right and then he apologizes when the backlash becomes so severe yeah because he takes like any he takes like any form of like criticism or any form of someone saying that he's wrong as That's- censorship and censorship has to be wrong no matter what. It's like, no, you just hurt someone's feelings and they wanted an apology. You don't have to be a dick bag about it. Yeah, like, I guess, I guess that's what I'm saying. It's not like he's incredibly hateful as much as he's just kind of, like, like you said, he's kind of a, a dick when people get offended by the things that he says. Yeah, yeah. Which but, is Which is fine if what you're saying isn't actually offensive. But when it is, then it's a problem. Yeah, I, I'm just saying it's not, they're not like... They're not chick fil aing this. They're not like, like he's. I guess he's gotten into like hot water for saying like transphobic things on his Twitter and stuff like that. But nothing, I don't think, has been like so bad that it's been boycott worthy. Especially because well, this is pretty bad. Hold on, Megan just highlighted oh, what really? you wanted me to read. Yeah, it says, uh, uh, Penny. This is this is what I'm worried about. Pax will become more saturated with. Penny Arcade supporters created. Team rape to harass anti-rape activists. What? Numerous threats were made against women who complained about the Dick Wolf's comics and merchandise. That's the. Sh- that's what I'm talking about. Kyle's mouth is agape. That's insane, right? Like, cause the the response to Wendy Okupa and Castle Number Six has sung her last song. Mario must meet the challenge that is n- new now. Now before him. Words are hard. Words are hard. There is a sunken ship that appears to be a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. That's, yeah, so that's incredible. The thing is, though, and I don't know how much people, because the thing is, PAX is incredibly popular. Yes, very popular. Relative to how many people are aware of PAX, not that many people get to go to PAX. Right. I don't know if people realize this. PAX is put on by penny arcade and yes it does line the pockets of the penny arcade guys it's not really a penny arcade event no but like that's I, the, I guess i think the point is like i is that people don't like, want to go to a thing that's like mike said this horrible thing and then when somebody said that it was wrong he said that it was not wrong and didn't apologize until it got way out of control i don't want to be giving my i know i fully, yes to, I, I fully understand that what i what i'm saying is that 
you don't have to live in fear that there are going to be roving van bands of like rape activists at PAX or something. Like it's not no. like the these weird people are not like a large demographic of the PAX attendee. No, but they're but like the more the more people decide that their views don't align with Penny Arcade in such a way that they don't want to attend PAX, the more that PAX is going to be filled oh, with fuck. those other people. Yeah. Like I I um I I know I t- mentioned this back when it happened, but like on the on the before the plane took off on our flight to go to Seattle uh, for PAX in September, I overheard a guy explaining to the person next to him that it was called Penny Arcade Expo because it was an OG convention from years and years and years ago, back when it was all like arcade attractions like what would be in penny arcades and it's just evolved since then to become what pax is now like that's that's what people that go to pax think pax is yeah i think that was just one incredibly stupid i think that is i i think that that is a sentiment that is probably held uh more than you would think uh, really? In the because because think all they know is it's a video game convention, it's a it's a place with all video game shit and it's called Penny Arcade Expo. Like you just put those, you just put two and two together like that. When you hear those things, you you just don't know about this web comic. I I guess, but I just feel like it's so tied to the web comic. In in what way? In that it's like, uh, like why would someone? Be interested enough to go because it's like an E3 that you can go to. It's like there nothing like there's really not much at PAX that is like a Penny Arcade specific draw. No, there's 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 all there's very little. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I don't. I, it just feels like the the like there there's a there's a perfect circle Venn diagram of people that know what PAX is and people that know what Penny Arcade is. Like, it just we like, it's, it's... Yes. I mean, oh, I mean, in the Venn diagram, the people that <laughs> the people that know that Penny Arcade is, like, fit inside of PAX. Well, maybe not. There's probably people that know Penny Arcade that don't know about PAX. That's, that's, that would be crazy. There's guys. I don't know. There's someone out there. Come on. I don't know what the internet, I don't know anything that's happening on the internet. I don't know anything about the internet. I don't know what people on the internet are doing or thinking. All I'm saying... I just know that a lot of that shit is fucked up. All I'm saying is that if you haven't been to PAX, it's really easy to sit around and go, why would anyone go to PAX after the Penny Arcade guy said this stuff? But PAX, yeah. PAX is pretty cool, and it doesn't have that much to do with Penny Arcade. Leave me alone. No, it doesn't. It is pretty fucked up, though. It is, yeah. Penny Arcade got some problems right now, guys. Yeah. Penny Arcade got some problems. Oh man, check this out. What is this? This is pretty sweet, right? <laughs> this is weird. This is really weird. I feel like Ooh, you- Ooh, I want you, that. Can you move the up and down? No. Oh. It feels like a lot should be happening, but then also nothing really was happening. That Whee! was sweet. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh god. Oh, please give me this. What is this? Thank God. That was so close. Now we're underneath the ocean. Check that shit out. I think Penny Arcade just came out of the water. Oh my god. <laughs> 